Today, we're going to draw this Chinese dragon. There are a lot of steps, but if you follow along with me, we're going to have a beautiful dragon when you are finished. Remember that you don't have to make it look just like mine. Everybody's can be different. Make it your own and make it unique. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Your first step for your dragon is to make the head. Now when you make the head, you don't wanna make it too big because you want enough room on your paper for your dragon's body. So I started with this kind of upside down U shape for the dragon's nose. And then you're gonna draw a horizontal line across and then go up and around for the shape of the eye. Now, since we see the side of the dragon, we're not gonna see the entire other eye. So I just added a little curved line. Then I'm gonna go ahead and make the dragon's ears. Remember, if you want them to be spiky or any different than mine, that's fine. I made a curved line for the top of the ear, and then I'm gonna curve back in toward the eyeball. Then I'm gonna make a curved line for the bottom of the ear, and same thing, curve back in towards the head. The inside of the ear, I kinda just made this zigzag line, so I just go out, in, out, and then a second curved line next to it, just to show the fold on the inside of the ear. I'm gonna go ahead and add my dragon's eye. You can do whatever kind of eye you want. It is up to you, anything you like. Then we're gonna start on the dragon's little whiskers hanging from his face. You can do this, you don't have to. If you don't like them, you don't have to do them. It is totally up to you. But they're kind of like a backwards letter J. So you're gonna go down, curve up, and back in. And then you find, follow the same curve, like a letter backwards letter J for the second whisker. Then I'm gonna go ahead and make the mouth. I wanna do the whiskers first because they're actually sitting in front of the dragon's mouth. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line across and jump over that whisker. I call it bump and jump. Then it's like a V. And I'm gonna bump and jump, bump and jump, all the way back. For the bottom of the head, it's just a curved line in towards the ear. So now that we have our dragon's head finished, you can go ahead and add teeth in the mouth, just little triangles or a zigzag line. If you want to make your dragon breathing fire, you could add some fire coming out of your mouth, whatever you like. Now we're gonna make the dragon's body, which is a big curvy line all the way across the paper. So I'm gonna make the first part, I'm gonna do the top of the body. So I'm going down the paper, and then I'm gonna curve around and I'm gonna go up the paper and curve around, then back down the paper and curve around and back up. So it's kinda like a big wavy line. All I'm gonna do for the other parts of the body is just follow that first curvy line that I made. So the middle of the body is gonna just do the same thing, following that curve. I'm leaving a little space for the leg because I, I want the leg to be in front of the body. So I'm trying to make the same curve that I just made, leaving a little space for the leg all the way up. And then I'm gonna do one more line following that same curve to do the bottom of the body. So one more, following the same curve, leaving a little space for the leg, 
all the way around, still following that same curve. Little spaces for the legs, all the way up to the tail. Now that I have my dragon's body, kind of like a big long snake, I'm gonna go ahead and add the legs. So I'm just making a big long U shape for this leg in the front and then kind of like that W shape, out, in, out, in, out, in for the toes. And I'm adding some nails on the end of my dragon's feet. Same thing over here, out, in, out, in, out, in for the toes. For the back legs, they're kind of like he's crawling. So I'm going to make a U shape that's a little bit turned for the back leg and then go down, up, down, up, add the toes. Make my U shape, go out, in, out, in, make the toes. So now I have my dragon's body complete. I'm gonna, I wanted to add spikes to my dragon's back. So all I did was just make a zigzag line. Again, following the curve of the dragon's body. I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until I get all the way down his back. You can do a different type of line. You could make him have spikes or not have spikes, whatever you like. Then I added scales to my dragon's body, kind of like a snake. So all I did was just make these bumpy lines all the way through this part of his body. So it's kind of like a W or a bunch of U's that I'm just connecting to make these scales all the way down. And you're just gonna keep going until you have all of this space filled up with scales. Then, once you're done with the scales, I added a little bit of texture to the dragon's stomach. So all I did for that was just make a few little lines just to make it have a little bit of texture. So I just went along the dragon's stomach and made these lines, again, all the way down the body, all the way to the end of the tail. And I would do the same thing for the scales. These just take a little bit longer. So I'm trying to go quickly. And you want to make them touch when you're doing this. Don't leave big spaces in between them then they won't really look like scales, they'll look more like bumpy lines. So I'm trying to make sure I'm turning my scales with the dragon's body as I go. And in some of these wider spaces, you can add a few extra scales. And you're gonna do the same thing all the way to the end of the tail. Once you're done with this, you are finished drawing your dragon. So then I wanted to think about the background. And since it was for a, since it was a Chinese dragon, I added these little Chinese lanterns hanging in the corners. Again, you don't have to do this. This was just a little detail. You can put your dragon wherever you want. You could put your dragon in the sky, in the mountains, whatever you like. And then I added some little symbols. I just drew a few lines just to make them look like little Chinese lanterns for celebrating the Chinese New Year. I added some little fireworks in the background, just a few little lines. And those are gonna show up really nicely when we color. And then the last thing I added was in the corner, I actually wrote dragon in Chinese. So to do that, it's a curved line down, a curved line across, kind of like a letter T, then a little dot, and then like an X with a curve. 
And so that is how you write dragon in Chinese. Then, when you're all done drawing, you are ready to color. I colored my dragon with crayons and I used warm colors for the dragon. And all I did was just on the parts I wanted to be darker, I just pressed a little bit harder. And then to make it have a little bit of value, I just press lighter as I went across the dragon's body. And I, again, I use red, orange, and yellow for my dragon. In the background, I took a yellow crayon and I went over the fireworks and I pressed really, really hard over the fireworks because I did what is called a watercolor resist, which is where if you press hard enough, you can paint right over top of the crayon and the watercolor won't stick to the crayon because the wax resists the water. So I dip my brush in the water. I get a little bit of paint. And then I went over. I went, you can go right over top of your fireworks. As long as you press hard enough, you can see they're gonna really stand out and show up because that watercolor paint will not stick to the crayon. And then when you're all done, your dragon can be something like this, but you can choose different colors. You could do a different texture on the back. You could have spikes or no spikes. You could have bumps instead of spikes. You could put it in a different background. You could have fire, you could have horns. Whatever you want, be creative and make it your own. I can't wait to see your dragons submitted in Art Sonia. And remember, this is completely optional, not required, and will not be graded.